Hey, it's good to see you. Happy Saturday. I'm sitting in the new the new furniture. They they came and replaced it the day we came in. This is a, a, a rocking chair. It's like a glider rocker. It's so nice. We're the first ones to get to use it. We have these chairs and a little matching table. And it's awesome. Um, yesterday the weather was just awful. All day long it was nasty. But now it's, oh, it's so beautiful. Let me get up and show you what, I want to show you my view from this balcony. Look at this. Oh, it's such a beautiful day. It's about six o'clock in the evening. We're gonna go back out in a little bit. We're gonna wait for the sun to go down a little bit. We just went and had ice cream. And I think we're having leftover pizza from last night for dinner. So we're not gonna worry about going to get anything for dinner. We're just gonna have some, try to eat up the rest of the pizza before, cause we have to leave in the morning. But yeah. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's so nice. It's beautiful. It was kind of gross first thing this morning. It was um, it was foggy and cloudy and just, I was afraid it was going to be that way all day. But the forecast was saying mostly sunny and I'm looking up like I don't see it. It was really cloudy up until probably mid-afternoon, like 3 o'clock or so. And then finally it all just kind of cleared up and now we have pretty blue skies. So it's really nice. Um, it's been a good day. We haven't done a whole lot just uh, out on the beach back here. Uh, we went to some gift shops. We didn't really buy much, but we did go to a few gift shops. We went to the candy, the sugar, what is it called? Sugar Kingdom, the big candy store. I thought about maybe making a video in there, but really it didn't look any different than it did last year. Like, I mean, I didn't really see a big change. I thought like, there's really no point in going. I mean, it looks just like it did last year. <laughs> so I didn't do it. I did make a video in the North Myrtle Beach Goodwill. The music was loud, so I'll have to do a voiceover. It's pretty short. I mean, it's a very small Goodwill. It's a little bitty. There wasn't a whole lot to look at, but I will show you that. They had this coffee table in there. You know what they were asking for this coffee table? Now, it was, according to the note on the price tag, it was a handmade German coffee table. They wanted $1,000 for it. And they had matching side tables for $300 a piece. Like nobody, sh nobody coming in this Goodwill is going to pay $1,000 for this table. And it definitely didn't look new. It had like nicks and dings and scratches in it. Like nobody's going to give you $1,000 for this damn table. I'm sorry. Never going to happen. A lot of the stuff in there was just crazy overpriced. Not everything. But some of the stuff I thought the prices were just <laughs> kind of crazy. And, uh, you know, I know it's because they, they know people resell that stuff and they're trying, they're thinking like, well, you're going to make a whole lot of money on it, so we want to make some money too. Like, well, you're pricing stuff so high that the resellers are not going to buy it because there goes all their profit right there. They're not going to buy it. Regular Goodwill shoppers aren't going to buy it. Like, nobody's going to buy it. Y'all are crazy. I don't know, Goodwill is just, they've just lost their minds. So, but it's, it's a good day. I'm just killing some time. I've been uh, hanging out doing very little. I haven't really done anything, but yeah, we gotta go home tomorrow. We gotta get up in the morning and pack up. My Fitbit died overnight, night before last. This is a new one. I had it delivered here from Amazon. Yeah, my Fitbit just died, which this is the worst weekend for it to die because I have gotten so many steps in the last couple of days, but none of them counted because my damn Fitbit died. I don't think it was the water because I wore it to Wet n Wild and it was in the water all day. It didn't bother it at all. And it was working when I went to bed that night. This was night before last. It was working before I went to bed. But when I got up the next morning, it was dead as a doornail. It wouldn't charge. I tried it. All the, all the things on YouTube and Google you can find to try to get it to come on. It's dead. It is DRT. Dead right there. It wouldn't charge. It wouldn't power up. It would not do anything. I messed with that thing for about an hour. I watched every video I could find. There's no saving it. I still have it. I'm gonna play with it some more when I get home, but that thing's dead. Anyway, it was one that somebody gave me and it was old. It was, I don't know how old this thing was. It was pretty old anyway. But I bought another cheap one. This is just like the bottom of the line, $55 Fitbit. I just need it to track my steps because we have this app through my job where if I get a certain number of points, they will basically pay for my gym membership for the year. I mean, they, they will cover most of my 
my gym membership, one of my gym membership costs. So, uh, just for, you know, tracking my steps and getting points and stuff, which is, it's stuff I do all the time anyway. So I figured, hell, why not get some compensation for it? <laughs> so anyway, I had to link this up to my, the app that I have to use for, through my job. They really, one thing I like about my job, they really push fitness and health and wellness and stuff like that. They really encourage people to live a healthy lifestyle. So, um, I'm all about it. I don't have a problem with it. It's awesome. And they get they do incentives and rewards for, for healthy lifestyle choices and stuff. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. People are starting to leave the beach. I'm watching them down here. It's about, well, I mean, hell, what, what time is it? Come on, it's 5.59, so it's about 6 o'clock. People have got to go in, get cleaned up, go out to eat. That's one of the big things people like about going to the beach is finding all, they try these different restaurants and they like to go out to eat when they're down here. Hell, I never go out to eat when I'm at the beach. Because I mentioned in another video, my kids hate going out to eat. They won't, they won't go. They will not go. I have to go pick up food and bring it back here because they, they have no interest in going to a restaurant. But, I mean, the way I look at it, I like to look at the bright side. It saves me a lot of money. I mean, if we don't have to go out to eat, you know, it's expensive anyway. But especially at the beach, it's even more expensive to go out to eat. It's saving me a lot of money. Usually what we do, we will just pick up food. We will go to Walmart or wherever. We'll get stuff to make food here. Or I might pick up pizza or Subway or something like that. Um, it's not too expensive. So I don't have to spend a lot of money on food when we're at the beach. So, hell, I spend as much of going out to get ice cream as I do on food. <laughs> We've only been out for ice cream twice, though. We went day before yesterday. We didn't go yesterday, and we went today. I didn't get the colorful ice cream again. I got just my regular old uh, butter pecan, and it was, it was delicious. I really enjoyed it. That's my favorite ice cream. Um, so, yeah, I've just been going around the, the condo picking up picking up stuff, packing stuff up, trying to figure out like, can I take anything down? They have these big, you know, rolling luggage carts you can use to take your stuff down. But I'm not really ready to take anything down. We can take everything in one trip with a luggage cart. We don't have that much stuff here. I'll just load it up and take it in the morning. We have to check out at 10 o'clock, so. We'll be ready to go by 10, so. But I've had a good time here. It's been a lot of fun. It's been very relaxing, very nice. Um, I have I've gone ahead and made a reservation for next summer. We're going to do, I talked to the owner yesterday and let her know that we really love it and we'd like to come back again next year. I'm going to do four nights next year instead of three. Honestly, four nights I think is about all I want to do. Really, I, I'm, I'm sitting here now, I'm kind of looking forward to going home. Like, I've had fun, I've done everything. We didn't go play mini golf. I asked my son if he wanted to go, and we went back and forth on it. Ultimately, he said, I, I don't really feel like it, so I don't think we're going to do any mini golf on this trip. We'll get it next time. There are places around where we live if we want to go play mini golf. We can do it there. So, we didn't do mini golf, but we did everything else we wanted to do. So I'm, I'm kind of ready to get home. I miss my cats. My older son has been there taking care of the cats and, you know, watering my plants and bringing in the mail, all that kind of stuff. I've had him there to take care of everything the cats need, so they're all right. I've had to do pet sitters in the past to do that. I have a wonderful lady that uh, has handled my pet sitting stuff. She's fantastic. She's a retired nurse, and that's what she does just for a little extra money. She's a part-time pet sitter. Oh, she's fantastic. She's so great. She's very patient, too, because I told her, I said, now, I have this one cat that you won't see. Um, her name is Pumpkin, and she's scared of everything. She's terrified of everybody. I mean, hell, I scare her every now and then. If I make a sudden move, it scares the shit out of her. She's just scared of everything. She's, she's always been that way. We've had her since she was four weeks old. She's always been scared to death. Um, but she said, well, I, I want to see if I can get her to come out. And she said, I sat upstairs in your hallway for I don't know how long with treats and trying to, you know, lure her out from under your bed. She just would not come out. I said, don't feel bad. It's, it's okay. I didn't expect her to come out. It's all right. She's just like that. She's a very sweet lady, though. So if I did need a pet sitter, she said, just let me know anytime. She's great.
And she'll, she hangs out with the cats and plays with them and pets them and makes sure they have food and scoops the litter boxes and just takes care of everything. She's so great. But my son was there, so I didn't, I didn't need anybody this time. But anyway, next summer, four days, so that, uh, four nights, I'm sorry. So that'll give us three full days. It, we have two full days this time. We have three full days next summer. So I've gone ahead and made the reservation for next summer. It's all set. Oh, it's great. It's fantastic. I love this spot, too. We're close to everything. It's just great. It's right on the beach, too. So, I'm excited. I'm already, I'm, I'm already ready to come back next year. <sighs> and, uh, there's a washer and dryer in there. I did a little laundry earlier. So, I don't have a whole big thing of dirty clothes to take back. I love that. I love the fact that this place has a washer and dryer. And two, if you're staying longer, that means you don't have to bring as many clothes because you can wash them, you know, and wear them or what, like, you don't have to bring 50,000 towels. You can wash your towels and stuff and reuse them. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching and for being here. I know this is kind of short, but, so I did, what did I do? I did a video in Goodwill. I did a video in Bolanos. I may split that one into two. I don't know. I don't think it was as long as last year's. Um, Goodwill, Bolanos. Where else did I do one? Shit. Oh, Gay Dolphin. The one at the Gay Dolphin was kind of short, though, because I hadn't been there in a long time, and I forgot. Now, the problem was, go I made it yesterday, and yesterday was a messy, yucky, chilly, rainy day, so everybody was looking for something else to do, and I think everybody in Myrtle Beach went to the Gay Dolphin yesterday morning because that place was slam packed and it's tight in there anyway. But I tried to get as much video of some of the, the things in there as I could, but it's not super long. It's only like 25 minutes long. I thought it would be longer, but that was about the best I could do because it was just so damn crowded in there. And it's very hard to make video in a, a tight, crowded place like that. So, and loud music, gotta do a voiceover. The whole store was just full of loud music. So I think I just have those three videos. Oh, and then I have a walkthrough of this place. I'll see if I can get that up. Maybe I could get that up today. That may not go up till tomorrow, I'm not sure. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and for being here. I have had a fantastic time. I hope you're gonna get a vacation or you had a vacation this summer and I, I hope if you did, it was awesome. And I hope if you do have one coming up that it's awesome too. <laughs> thank you so much for being here. I'll see you again soon.